Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Daily's Corner, and this is the third time I have tried to do this review. Let's hope this time it works, okay? If you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Tip Girl is 3 45 in the morning. Jay Bird, Jay Bird, dun 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 dun, and all the goodness, okay? Do not forget to also like this video, to comment in the comment section, to share it on your social media. You can follow me on IG and on Twitter. The name is above my head, well, which means my IG handle is a bit above my head. Um, excuse me. Um, Shop my Teespring merchandise. It's in the description box below. And, you know, same old, same old, same old. But let's get started on this review again, okay? So, we see that A1 and Ray is in the house, okay? They're in the house. I think it's an empty Airbnb. I really believe that A1 and Lyrica had a whole Airbnb while shooting the show and they had to move out, okay? And let's act like he cheated and we can move out easily. But, because, I mean, it, it cause ain't no way she hired a whole crew to move out, girl, but she had a hotel still. If you can afford to hire a crew to move all your furniture out, then one day you can afford another Airbnb and a hotel. But I digress. So, A1 and Ray go down there because they hear some noises coming from down there. Is it a robber? Is it a burglar? No, not doing filming. Not doing filming, okay? Maybe it's just a puppy. And they get down there and it's Lyrica's friend, she okay? Her name, I, I'm going to call her she okay? Anyway, so she's like, I came here to feed A1 dogs. That's what I'm here for. No, you're not. And like Ray said, no, someone sent you it. Ray J, not just Ray, Ray J. Ray J said, girl, we know she lied. They're going send her. And I believe she did as well because you was there when they left them damn dog there. If you care so much, take them with you, okay? But I don't really care. So she feels like you hurt my friend. I'm here for y'all. I want y'all to be a couple, whatever. But you can't dog at my friend, you know what I'm saying? What did you do? He's like, I didn't do anything. Where my kid at, you know what I'm saying? She had any black I can't call her or whatever. And I want to know where my child is at. What is mama? He ain't lost. He not kidnapped. He with his mama. But I digress. Um, so, she's like, you know what? Oh, now you care? I mean, uh, does either of them care? Because when Lyrica left A1 and left the baby with him, so, I mean, she, he can be concerned because she didn't took the damn baby. I don't really care. So, you know, he brings up what really happened because she like, you know, well, you know what you did. You went in Miami and what happened? Like, I had a meeting. I had a business meeting in Miami. I went there, had my business, and I came back home. Now, there was a little girl or whatever who was in my face and was chit chat on the plane, but nothing happened. You had, you had sex with her on the plane, and I'm like, she you don't know that. A1 said how he wants to be held, you know, he wants to be innocent until proven guilty. You cheated enough to where you guilty. Point blank. Period. Okay? And so, you know, she's like, you need to fight to get your family back, whatever, because y'all should be together. Should they? I don't know. I think I don't care. Okay? And so, you know, you should do whatever you need to do to get your family back. He says, okay, I'll file a missing person report. I say, you know what, A1? Get your ass, get, get your ass out of that nudie ass house. Go, go, go on somewhere. Where A1 clothes at? Why we ain't seen not, not, not in that bedroom? He in with his clothes in the closet. That's the Airbnb, okay? Probably empty boxes that they, they took out that house. K. Michelle. K. Michelle is on Hollywood Unlocked with Jason Lee, Melissa Ford, and that third dude who I don't know. And they're talking about how April was on the show, how she was kind of holding the place for Melissa Ford because Melissa Ford was off after she had, you know, the horrific car accident and everything or whatever. But she is now back. And we then see how K. Michelle and Jason Lee is kind of going off on, on April. About April is boring. How, you know, the sponsors pulled out. The people were complaining or whatever. And I think people don't realize when you do things like a blog or, you know, online stuff, you do kind of have to work around what your audience wants to see. And if you have a boring person on the show that people are tuning out because she's so boring, you would have to eventually get rid of that person, especially if she's not even realizing she's boring. It's like having sex with a penis that doesn't realize it's small. It's like, you gotta go. I don't, I don't, you, you don't, you don't, you can't, you can't even, you can't fix it. 
he, he he can't fix it. Okay, anyway. So, you know, they also bring up, well, K. Michelle is, more, is really kind of going in or whatever. About how she don't know why April and Moniz is cool, not how they both up here sharing the same knob. They slab, slob, and all that. I'm like, they both slob in the same knob. That's nasty, okay? And how she feel like, you know, some people aren't real artists and don't take their music serious or whatever. And I'm like, okay, so she going, K. Michelle is being K. Michelle. She's being messy. Girl, we don't really care. Um, She also brings up how she wants to do country music. K. Michelle, in my opinion, is a great singer, okay? I told y'all before I like her, um, a couple of her albums. She need to sing more than she riff on people. I mean, to each scene that you do, talking about country music, you're not, d do it. Do it. Every time you talk about the, every time you on camera sing some, a little country, little country, little rock and roll, you know what I'm saying, do, do that or whatever. But to sit there and just say, oh, they don't accept me, they don't know that I used to do country, I was born in the country, I, I'm a yodeler, show them. You can show them better than you can tell them, K. Michelle. We had like 18 speaking parts of her in this episode and all she kept talking about is I want to do country they don't accept me okay you can only say that to me so many times I was bored by the second time okay just move on I want you to do the country music honey do it okay do it and she brings up brings up how it, it makes her upset that people see her and because she's a black girl or whatever they assume she don't do country because she said I went to some little bar or whatever and and it was like, you know, karaoke country or whatever. And I went to do some country music or whatever. And they looked at me and said, oh, this ain't your night. Like, this is the country night. Because she doesn't look like she do country. I would have just went on on the stage and, and sang them under the table. You can't keep, I can sing any white person up under this table because I'm a country singer. But you ain't saying nothing. You a singing group. Won't you sing something? That's what I would have said. And so that's what the interview was. Shade to Monique in April, and then shade to people who don't think she can do country music, even though we haven't heard her really do it fully outright yet. Okay, anyway, we then see Fizz, Mickey Monday, uh, Boog, Booby, and they one all meet up. I don't know why, because that's just a, a ragtag group of little rascals. Okay, a, a whole breakfast club mixture of people. Okay, any if you don't know who the rascals are. Or the Breakfast Club, what I meant, and you too young, you too young to be watching me. But they basically come together so that Fizz can say he ain't the only issue on the tour because this is the time where Ras B was getting caught up in his mess, his mischief. Okay, all oh, the the mystery of it all. He was arrested in in this stuff. Okay, stuff. It was all in the news. I don't want to go over it or whatever. But I feel like y'all can't act like it because Ras missed a couple days, and so you got feel like you know. I ain't the only issue people thought it'll be me that would break the group up and we don't and we would make it to the end because of me. No, nope, it's Raz. Everyone know the reason Raz has issues because of Chris Stokes, okay? And he don't want Chris Stokes around, okay? And he has accused Chris Stokes of doing unsavory things to him and to other people and other other kids when they were younger. And I mean that's why he has issues because he ain't dealing with that too well. And not only that, y'all seem to this Act like it didn't happen. So, I mean, that's the reason he had issues or whatever. Fizz then said, you know, but he got more things to worry about because his grandmama was on life support. And how he wished he could be there for his mother and his grandmother, but he can't. And I said, well, you could. Because each time you on break, instead of going to April's court cases and to, to Chicago with April, go see your dying grandma. Do that, okay? Ain't no way on God's earth that your grandparent is on the deathbed. You hanging out at court cases with your with your, your bandmates, baby mama, for support. Go support your mama. I ain't got. To, I, I wish I could be there. You could get out of April's ass, but I digress. So we then see Princess. Princess is at home. I think she was holding a puppy. I may have been making it up, but I can't remember. But she's at home, and she says she's gonna have her makeup line called the Prela or Prella, one of the two. I don't know. And she has Jason Lee over in Zell. And I said, this is, why, why are they there for? What they there for? I, I, I'm confused. Who has a makeup line party, uh, brainstorm a meeting, and you fight over Jason Lee and Zell swag? I was like, what in the hill, Billy? Don't make no sense. Hell is going on here. I, I, I just don't get it. You know, so she then says, 
she invited Zell because Zell's a, a, a good stylist, and he can tell her if the display stuff of her stuff is pleasing to the eye. I said, what now? Of all the friends you have, of all, you are married to Ray J, okay? You, y'all don't have access to anybody else who can look at your makeup line besides Set Zell swag. He don't wear makeup. He not a makeup artist. I, I would get it if he was a makeup artist. Because, you know, I'm not saying a man can't, you know, critique. He isn't a makeup He's He can barely style himself. Princess, anybody calls him together Zell swag and Jason Lee to critique their music. Music. They, they, they make up stuff is destined for failure, okay? And she gonna say she invited Jason because he has a top blogging site and she wants him to cover the event. Now, that was smart. You know, to have him cover, I digress. But still, to have Zell come over and she said verbatim because she wants to eat, he has the eye. The eye of what? A zebra? No. You don't ask Zell speak about makeup shit. He don't know that. Girl... I said, Princess, girl, that's just destined for failure. Because you didn't even have the right people with you. You could have had Ray J, your own mama. Is she with her mama? I don't know. Brandy. Okay? Ain't that Brandy's brother? Anybody. Look, Kim. Anyone. Your own your own makeup artist. I, you can't tell me that you ain't have not nan female friend, not nan female stylist to come. But you pick Zell Swag. I said, girl, not today. Not on my watch. Anyway, she brings up how there are not a lot of makeup artists or makeup companies for urban women. And I say, well, that's true. Okay, I deal with mostly Fenty Beauty, okay, which is Rihanna's brand. This is the lipstick I'm wearing tonight. It's the Fenty Beauty color. Anyway, she brings up how she was going to do a nail salon, but the contractor she hired to do it ran off of her money. And, you know, so the, the lease of the building she was, she was having done, work on or whatever, the lease was about to be up because, again, the contractor ran away with her money. So she let the lease on the building, you know, just lapse or whatever, and she gave it up. But she had the trademark to the name. So instead of doing the nails line, she didn't make them last. So I said, let me just straight. You mean to tell me, Princess Love, that you had a whole contractor swindle you out of money for your nail salon. And, you know, you let that go. Let it go. Cool. But y'all gave us a kidnapped dog story where Ray J offered $20,000 to find your lost dog, but the person who took your money for a business, we didn't hear not man, nothing about it. I just, you should, that should have been, the story should have been, oh my God, oh my God, you guys, I had a whole situation. I was gonna have a nail salon and the guy took all my money and now I'm working on my makeup line. We should have seen you working on this makeup line. Now I should look for that goddamn dog. Okay? I'm pissed. The fuck? I, girl, I cannot. You know, and then the old swag say, you know, I'm cool with this because I'm the, I'm, the, the lipstick don't smell good because I'm looking for a wife. A wife of what? A wife for somebody else? Zell Swag then say he is bisexual. He said people act like men cannot be bisexual. No. That's not what we act like. We absolutely understand that men can be bisexual. You you just never came on bisexual. I just never thought I thought you were gay. Cause Jason said how he has once before sat with women as well. But I mean he likes me and not. I, I girl. I digress. Anyway, if he like it, I love it. I wanna have found a wife and had kids. I could never marry a bisexual man simply because I am fully aware that he has a taste for something that I can't give him. That's the only reason I would not date a bisexual man. I can't give him dick. And anybody who has, I know how much I like dick. I'm not going to act like, okay, I can be with him and knowing I can't give him dick. I can't do that. No, because I know how much I like it. So, no, I, I, could not, I would not marry a bisexual man. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Be bisexual, by all means. Be it. And be happy in it, but not on my watch. Anyway, Zell and Jason bring up how they're going to, you know, April going to be there and they can talk. No one cares about April and how she's upset at, at, that, at that man or whatever. I'm a girl, whatever. You know, Jason it brings up this house. Avery was, was boring on a show, you know what I'm saying? And how, you know, she just never had anything to say. You can't not be a talker on a talk show. 
You cannot be a talker on a blogging show. You can't do that. You can't. You cannot be a talker on a podcast. That's the stupidity. Okay, that's trying to have sex with no penis no vagina. You can't have sex if no one has a penis or vagina. Where does it go? What happens? Okay, or even you. Know, let me not. Let me not do that. Did you? You know, it's like having sex with no parts. Okay, whether it's a penis, the vagina, two vaginas, or two penises. Either way it goes, you need sexual organs to do that. You can't be a talker if you're not going to talk. I, 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 let me move on. So, we see Mickey Monday at his house with his family, his mama, his daddy, his daughter, and Slick Woods there too. Mickey Monday need to get a job. Okay, he out the thing talking about, you know, every time somebody promised him the world, ooh, Jesus, give him the world. How, you know, it don't pan out that way. Well, that happens sometimes in music, okay? No one, it's, 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 not, it's not that easy. You know, he brings up how, you know, it's oh so, it's oh so promising, then it doesn't work out how, you know, old girl introduced him to Akon, that didn't work out. And the old girl introduced him to some dude named Chris who promised to, you know, give him the world and, you know, pay his bills so he can focus on doing music, okay? Fund his lifestyle so he can make music, okay? So they can all make the money back and whatever. He said, but after a while, dude disappeared and it's kind of, you know what I'm saying, need no more money. And who gonna make my bills? You! Get a job! Do something for some money, okay? You have a whole daughter. And I'm like, is he trying to, like, in my head, I'm like, is he sitting up here, like, complaining, oh, my God, I don't have any money. Like, who's going to pay my bills? Like, what's going to happen? Or whatever. And he, did he want Slick to say, you know, baby, I'll give you some money. I'm hollering. I can, I can hold you down. No, Slick, don't do that. You know, and Slick say, like, you just need to get to the point where you're not out here trying to provide for everyone else. Okay, you can't be out here, you know, with your hands, you know, helping other people because then you have no hands to help yourself. And now, if I got you, now she did say, and I, you, I'm in your corner. She didn't, offer, she didn't offer any money, which I'm, I'm happy. She did not offer any money, so that was cool. And the daddy said, "Well, I, you know, I can, I can, you know, try to help you do this or that or whatever." He said, "No, nah, that's okay. I'm acting. I'm taking a trip to to Vegas because." B2K last show was in Vegas, and they invited the guys out, you know what I'm saying, to a cabin or to a house or whatever, Airbnb, so I'm going to go out there. And the dad didn't say, well, I can give you my credit card with $5, five dollars, five dollars, so y'all all, y'all a family of broke people or whatever? Girl, I digress. His daughter was adorable. It's true that she gets along with, with Slick. And how she, daddy, can you put her in a bun? And he put her hair in a cute little bun. Oh. It was so adorable. Oh, my God. But now he going to Vegas and he broke. Okay. <laughs> you, should, you should never go to Vegas if you broke. That's just stupidity. So, April go to see Monice at the studio. Monice is in there singing and doing little, little dance moves. Monice's song sounded great. I'm happy they finally featured Monice positively doing her music. Okay. She was in the studio practicing and saying, I don't care what nobody say. Not even my friend of me came to chill. I am serious about this tour and me and my music. Okay. Okay. April come in and she just, oh, I can't believe Jason came to chill. was talking about me. And also, Monis, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Sign lens. Sign lens. Oh, my girl. We don't care about you. So, you know, she then tells Monis how, you know, right now, because there's just so much going on, she cannot do the tour. And I'm like, oh. So, Monique said, well, as long as it's not because of anything that came Michelle or Jason said, like, I think it's cool if you made the decision on your own. And then, I just can't, why was I, I, I mean, why would she, she doesn't even know me. We're not friends. I get if K. Michelle talks about shoe Y'all are friends or whatever. I get that. But she does not know me, my life, my, 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 uh, my voice. Girl, neither do you. Okay. Anyway, they both just say how they don't like what K. Michelle said about them. Because Monique says, I am serious about my music. You know what I'm saying? And K's opinion is K's opinion. But I don't, you know, live my life based on other people's opinions or whatever. They then say they both want the princess's um, makeup launch. And what's the opposite there? Oh, we have them with them together. We're going to wear the same clothes. We're going to be in all black and combat boots. I said, get you. Get your asses out somewhere. You know, we see a quick little scene with Kate Michelle, Brittany, um, Ray, and Apple at like a cowboy type saloon bar or whatever. And Kate Michelle was again just talking about how she wants to do country. Okay. Do it. So we then see it's the pre love, pre love, whatever it is called, 
launch, okay? And we see Monice and Francis is on good terms and they just squashed everything. And Pierre's like, this is weird. This is weird. The last time I saw them two, like, you know, uh, Monique was trying to throw a chair at Princess. I'm just, y'all friends now? And they're like, yeah, we, we better to hatch it. And I think it's smart. You don't, nobody, y'all both have kids. Girl, it's just petty, petty, petty. So they, they, they cool now. And that's fine. Okay, that is fine. So, um, we then see Jason Lee shows up and so does April. And it, oh my god, it's so weird. I'm looking like, why? Everyone at one point in time has been around somebody who they used to work with. Maybe even the person who fired them. It's not a big deal. You fired me, okay, I'm done. I'm moving on. I have my own life to live. I don't got time to be busy with bitches I don't work for anymore. And so for the main part, April says she don't like how Jason handled firing her. No one likes how they're fired. Because they're fired. So, girl, I don't think it's anything. And Jason Lee is messy. You know this. This is the thing that people need to realize. You cannot get in bed with messy people and you are surprised when they do messy things. He's a messy person. Period. Okay? Y'all were not friends. Period. Because if y'all were friends, you would have known that you could not have been that born on his show. And he would have told you verbatim, hey, you know, you're boring. Fix it. But I digress. Anyway, Jason said, I feel like I didn't do anything wrong or whatever. So, I don't get what the, what the big issue is. But I feel like, you know, you should not be bringing me up and talking about me on your show. I, I'm not there anymore. I, girl, Avery, you are barely breaking news, okay? The only reason we talk about you so much is because you fucking Omarion bandmate, okay? So, girl, bye. You know, and he, <laughs> like, I talked about you one time, you know what I'm saying? Interview, things happen, things come up or whatever. You used to be that you aren't anymore. And, you know what I'm saying, I talked about you more in that one interview that you talked on the show entirely or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying, you more mad at me than I'm upset with you, which is true. Again, April, get over it, mama. You weren't a good fit for the show. You weren't. I, yes, he could have he handled it, he, he handled it better, but that he messy. And you align yourself with the mess, but I digress. So she then brings up, I did the show for you. You know, I did you a favor. I helped you. You asked me to be on the show. And I'm like, he didn't ask you because he felt like, oh, my God, everyone will listen if it's April. He felt like, I know you. Let's give you a chance to be on the show. But you prove that you're not entertaining. Anyway, even when she on her lives that I used to watch, it wasn't really entertaining. It was like, what are you, what are you talking about? What, what's the, what, what is the conversation? It was just weird or whatever. I don't care. So April has all of this energy to kind of go at Jason or whatever, and he's like, where was this energy on the show? Like, what was you didn't talk this amount of time. You didn't do this. On, where was this at when you were on the show? You know, what I'm you have all this energy. You didn't even have all this energy with Monique. What's up with that? I'm like, oh, here we go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave before I go off. I'm like, well, you've already raised your voice, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? And Jason said, I am so unbothered. I am so, um, you know, I and she, you know, she had that kind of energy on the show, she wouldn't have got fired. And I'm like, girl. April didn't come back around because now she didn't calm down in the in the ten seconds she's been gone. And she said, you know what? I just want you to keep my name out your mouth. I'll keep your name out my mouth or whatever. And we should not be speaking on each other. He said, fine. Like, I talked about you one time because, you know, on the show, comments come up, things come up. You know, people happen on the show. People have been featured on the show. You know, means you have two. Because, you know, before, Jason is the person who, on, like, season, it may have been season one. Either season one or season two. He brought up Monique's sex tape. He's the one that like found it and showed people what the hell a princess. Okay, let's let's just say that or whatever. So again, but Monique's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna go there with them. Like, leave me be. Like, I'm I'm calm, cool, collected. Leave me be now. Stop it. Anyway, so you know what I'm saying? Jay's like, I'm I'm at a different place in life. I want to be at peace. So you know what I'm saying? I, my bad if you feel some kind of way. I'm like, girl, it was a whole waste of time. So, her makeup line, I guess, went off without a hitch. Um, I went to the website. She had one eyeshadow palette. Um, I think, like, maybe four lipstick colors. And that's all I really looked at or whatever. I mean, I haven't heard about them. I feel like it's not 
it's not promoted enough, in my opinion. But girl, I don't do you. Kudos, kudos, kudos to Princess R Endeavors. So we then see Zell, Booby, Mickey, Paris, Brittany B, and Apple are all gonna get on the party bus because B2K or whoever, Boog, I'm guessing this Boog, has booked them a bus to drive to Vegas and got them an Airbnb house. We're really moaning, but we digress. So they all got like a free bus ride, a free Airbnb, and free tickets to the B2K concert. Something like if you have all the stuff free, no one should be able to complain about nothing, okay? And so we get <laughs> Apple and Britney B came last. Everyone else is on the bus. Now, y'all know Zell Swag and Paris has issues with Britney. They don't need to, though. They re it's, it's really childish and really petty, but I digress. So, when Britney and Apple go on the bus, Zell and Paris instantly start being negative and being messy, calling her, you know, Barney B, you know what I'm saying, worst prince of Bunda Day Breath or whatever, calling her all kind of animals or whatever, being messy children. Being messy children or whatever. And for the most part, Britney's hearing them say little stuff, little snap remarks, but she ain't saying nothing because, you know, I, I guess she's trying to be the bigger person. Brittany B can be a bit aggravating with some of her shit or whatever, but I feel like in this situation, she ain't do shit besides getting on the bus. You know what I'm saying? It was what it was. So, as they sitting there or whatever, you know, she's like, you know, I, I see y'all being messy, you know, making little slap and snap remarks on y'all breath or whatever. Well, you know, because you did the same thing to Paris. I'm like, saying, why... Do you feel the need to consistently argue with women? You are a man. Gay, straight, or indifferent. You are her man. Let women handle women issues. Period. Okay? And that's my thing. So, Brittany's like, you know, y'all just need to stop. Mama thinks mama think a bunch of your brother, you know Because it's foolish or whatever. I could come on here. Like, I didn't come on here, you know what I'm saying, talking about y'all. I didn't call y'all, you know, Mario and Luigi. I didn't call y'all a, 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 a bowling ball and a pen. I say, a bitch, a bowling ball and a pen, girl. I cackled, okay? <laughs> a bowling ball and a pen. And Paris is like, What? Bitch, you can't talk about me. You can't. You can't say nothing about me. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. And don't act like she can or whatever. And she then called Brittany an, an overgrown flavor flag. And then he goes off. I am sick and tired of 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 Zell and Paris. I really, 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 really am. Okay. I just feel like it's a it's not a necessity. Um, so because it's, it's they're not really funny. They're just childish, and it's like. Are y'all trying to put this to like people when they? I, 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 if you in your early twenties, you may find out. Oh, good damn! I love that. I'm too old for that. I'm like, bitch. I don't, girl. What? So we do see the next episode, girl. They put they girl. They put Zella Paris off the bus. They get to the house and Eric, girl, Lyrica there, April there. It's just a whole mess. We see how Brittany being. And Larry can get into an argument because, again, Zell and Paris was put off the bus. And Brittany looks to be upset that Larry is trying to get Brittany, is trying to get Zell and Paris in the house. Girl, y'all, they don't have no business to pay them. So, I, I, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm done. Okay. Put in the comment section below if you are Team Paris and Zell or Team Brittany. In this situation, and remember, she came on a bus. She wasn't fucking with them. She really, really wasn't. And they went at her. I'm Team Brittany in this situation because my thing is, you don't really have no reason to have beef for me, bitch. You know what I'm saying, and that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.